Welcome back everyone, Broadbent here. Today we're back in the forest on day 166 of our survival. Today I'm going to be going up to the snow biome, to the fort. I'm going to be working on the courtyard. I want to get the rabbit farm up and running properly and maybe do a little bit of interior decorating uh, in the actual fort itself. So I'm going to head over there now if I can get down from here without dying. At some point, I will be finishing this dock too. Don't worry, it is something that's always on my mind when I see it. Uh, so that will be getting done soon. Like all this, continued across with a foundation. It's just another really big job for the island base, and I don't really like filling up the shipping freighter that much, like I said. So it will get done. But today, we're heading up into the snow biome. Got a long journey ahead to get there, so let's dive straight in. Ah yes, there she is. Absolute beauty. So, on the inside, I've actually laid down the foundation for it already. Uh, that's where, under the staircase, is where I'm going to be placing the rabbits. It was a while ago I did this, and that looks damaged. Doesn't it? It's not, but it definitely looks it. Right here is the foundation. I've actually started doing it, I don't remember doing that. So I'm going to build that, then I'm going to place down the rabbit cages, and then build another foundation on top, and then keep on going all the way to the top. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here, I'm going to put in a staircase, break the wall, you get the idea. Uh oh. I left the bunker door open. <laughs> Unless we've got some unwanted visitors. Nope, I think we're good. Got another head to place down, two more to go. Hopefully we get some visitors, and I can finish off that effigy. There we go. Yeah, I thought I built it wrong then, but that should be good. Let's place down some rabbit cages. Definitely gonna need a load of sticks. I want to make quite a few runs down. Wow. That was quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop walking towards me. You're freaking me out. I should put some effigies up on top of the base. Hello? Goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna start closing the gate whenever I go in the fort from now on. So now if we place down another custom foundation, I'm gonna start that one like here. There we go. That's the second foundation. Perfect. It goes like right in between these two holders too. Whoa, that was weird. What's this guy doing creeping up? <laughs> Don't do that. I've got into a habit of closing and opening doors like that. So one's always closed. There we go. Nice. I'm not sure if this last one here is going to cause any issues going up the stairs. Because like technically it does clip through. You see that? I think I can build it and then always destroy it with a spear if it's not right. How many sticks have I got? 19. Yeah, that's the one I want to build. Let's find out. Oh, hold on. Oh! <laughs> awesome! So I've placed the staircase down over there. I've already placed one log down, but I'm going to destroy the wall. Uh, just like I have done over there, so... I'm going to very delicately do that now. I'm almost worried. Uh, okay. Alright. Not bad. I think that's better than this side. Oh my god, that's steep. How did I make it up there? What? So I decided to do a stick run, and it took me around 12, 15 minutes. Which is alright. It's just I've got to go so damn far to get it. Uh, I'm going to have to do quite a few, because up here I need, I'd say, probably 200 sticks. So it's going to take at least four runs to get that done. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Stay right there. Or not. So let's get all of these done. I'm not going to build a third layer because it's just... Like right now if I jump, I can see in. And the third layer, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I really don't need it and don't want it. So I'm just going to build these as is. Come on, come on. I ain't got enough. Damn. Close though. I'm going to start moving the rabbits out of this one. I don't really want them against the wall anymore, I just feel a bit paranoid with them there. 
So I've just managed to fill the bottom layer already. Each of them has got two in. Pretty crazy. Got quite a few rabbits here. I might have to get on with the other one right over here pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There we go. Just make sure it's all right. Oh, it's a little bit low at the top here. Whatever. I've also done this uh, on both sides. Sort of like fixed it a little bit. Makes it look a little bit more tidy. I like it. Looking back at this build, like, I can't believe I double layered it. That's absolutely mental. And that should do it. Yeah, looks a little bit weird over there. But it works. Okay, I'm gonna head out for another stick run. I'm gonna get this thing topped up, and I'll see you then. So I finished a second stick run last night, and I'm gonna pop all these down. I think I've definitely got enough to finish this now. Come on. Come on. There we are. Awesome. Where did I pick this guy from? I have no idea. Alright, there we go. One off, completing that entire side. Let me just double check, make sure there's not one left over. Yeah, completely empty. I was one off, finishing this entire side. Look at that, all that's done, except one. So annoying. Alright, I think it's time to crack on with this side now. I've got two logs here. Uh, with these bodies, I'm going to put down a few effigies at the top here. Not sure where. Uh, I'm also going to put some more lights around because this place is quite dark. Did I just see a cannibal? Okay. There we go. I think it's a little bit lower than this one. Okay, so I placed the cages over here perfectly because... I like having this bunny at the back, or the front, sorry, because then when a second one spawns and is three in, two display on the front, so it's really clear. Uh, so I'm going to rotate this this way, like so. There. <laughs> yes! And there we go. And that is the second level done. Going to add in some extra cages. Oh god, I got one more trip to do. Uh oh. Gotta take care of that first. Hello? Whoa! Jesus! I don't like how they're all slowly walking in on me. Stop it. I'm trying to box me in. Ooh, free sticks. Thank you. Whoa, where'd you guys come from? Why do they always. Go for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's actually gonna destroy it. Oh my god <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe she actually broke something. I'm not sure what it was <laughs> uh Oh, I'm honestly really concerned about what she just broke It was something something bad. I think it was the inner wall Right here let me drop this body, I don't need it. Uh, oh, there we are. Something inside, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, there's more. There's more! I need food as well. Oh, there he is. There we go. Okay, so there's more things I want to do in this courthouse than just the two, uh, the rabbit farms. In the middle, I want to have a fire. I want to light this place up in the night. And I can't decide whether or not a small fire or a bonfire is the best option. So, I'm going to mess around with that really quick. The first thing I need to do is destroy this. There we go. And if the wind is so damn loud. Okay, uh, I'm going to place this down just to see if it's really that bad, having a bonfire here. Like... It's quite a big courtyard. Oh yeah, I think I need to rebuild that foundation. It's kind of stopping me from moving around. Like, I don't think that's such a bad idea. Now the other idea was to have a raised uh, fire pit like this. So what I would do is use the custom rock walls here. I'd stand roughly in the center. Now because I can adjust the distance, I can also adjust... I can now like make custom circles. So if I bring this right all the way in, as tight as possible, left click, and left click every time two rock shows, like that, I can now make custom circles. So if I was to build that, and put a wooden floor on it, and then build another one around, I can then pop a fire on top of it. So it would be a raised fire, and I wouldn't have to worry about 
burning myself. So I think that's probably the better option. There. I think that's in the center. I'm going to take a quick look from the top. I think that's pretty darn good, actually. Yeah, I'm going to build that. There we go. It's a little bit pointy right here. Uh, but it serves the purpose, you know? I think that does a pretty good job. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> a custom floor looks really bad. I think it's time for a foundation. Hell, you know what? I don't think I even want wood. I've got a really cool idea. Time to start over. Ooh. Hello. I'll take that. So what I'm going to do is layer rocks pretty much all the way through this thing and make... Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I wonder. <gasps> it worked! Oh my god, that thing's just full of rocks. <laughs> I'm going to build that. <gasps> Some rabbits of bread! Yes! Okay, so I've got a bit of a confession to make. Over here, last night, I destroyed the top foundation because it was stopping me from smoothly walking upstairs. And check out the bottom one. It seems to have messed it up a little bit, or at least it looks like it, doesn't it? It's like leaning inwards. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's just the way the foundation is. I've never noticed it before. So I think either I have to try and spend like another half an hour trying to repair it from the right angle. I can't repair it from like just right here, for example, so nothing indicates that it is damaged. It just looks weird. So you can sort of get the, well, you can actually see it. I was going to say you can get the picture, but I've done like this um, table, this wall slab thing. <laughs> so I should be able to place down the fire pit on it. Let me see. Oh, no. Yes! That's that's perfect. Oh my god. A part of me was just expecting it to not work at all. Okay. Now, the question is, do I add in a fence on top of this thing? Like that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave that one up to you. There's a card at the top right of the screen. You can vote yes or no. I'm going to build the inside, though. There you go. Make sure to vote on the card if I should build that fence or delete it. I want it to turn nice so I can light this thing already. I wonder how much it lights up. It'll probably light its entire courtyard, to be honest. Okay, so storage space is quite low on this build. Now, I also need some logs and stuff in here. So, for example, if this gets really badly damaged, I'm pretty sure I have to use logs to repair it. So... I think I should be able to pop those down here. If I close the gate and get one out, I can sh I should be able to put it here. Right in the corner. Yeah, like that. So I'm going to put some logs in there, and I'm going to put the same over here. Oh, I'm also going to finish that. <laughs> it does look cool. I've set up some effigies on top of the forts over there. That's going to take a while to build those for sure, though. Because they're mostly built out of arms, so... I don't know, a couple of episodes, I should be able to get it done. So I've rebuilt the second foundation for over here. It should be much better now. It's... Wait, come on. Can I build this thing? It's nowhere near the staircase, which is the most important thing. And why can't I build this? Oh, there we go. I saw it for a second there. Wow. Okay, that's better. Let me just check the staircase. I'll tell you what, the wind in this build... It's just in this build. <laughs> Like, if I go anywhere else, if I, like, leave the build, it stops. See? Wind stopped. So I think we've got the same deal again over here. Place down the last rabbit cage and it sort of clips through the staircase a little bit. Uh, I think I've got all the sticks to build it. Okay, it's two off. See if I can go up. Hopefully. Yep, no issues at all. Perfect. That was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. Was I on full health? Oh my god. I have got to be more careful from now on. What? 
I'm not sure why, but the cannibals really like this spot. That first cannibal attacked that spot, and now this guy just attacked it. I think a lot of you have been telling me to put down some barricades all the way around. I don't think I need to put them all the way around. I think I just need to protect this spot. Is it that one? It's either that one or this one. Yeah, it's kind of a worry. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty scary right there. So I'm testing out some new editing techniques with the brightness of the night. Let me know what you think to this in the comments below. So I want to try and do a little bit of building in the night and show you. Right here, I'm going to place some water collectors just on this foundation, like so. I don't think I need an extra layer. I was going to add an extra layer of them, but I think that should do. Oh no! It's morning and I never lit the fire! Oh damn, I'm going to have to do that before the end of the episode. So, what I've got planned here is... I just made a little foundation on either side to put down the lug holders on. I feel like it just looks better. Not sure if it's going to fit though. <laughs> Probably should have tested that first. Oh, yes, perfect. Did I catch it? Wow. I'm getting so many. Wait. Oh. There's a Virginia. No. 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 That's the first time I've ever seen a mutant up here. Ever. In, like, the three years I've been playing the forest. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna let them pass. The fort isn't very well protected. <laughs> it's pretty much just bare walls, so... Yeah. I'm gonna let him go. Like, I didn't really want to build the fort to be... practical. Like, you know, properly defendable. Was that an armsy as well behind here? No, okay, I'm losing it. I didn't really want to build it, like, practical for the forest. Like, I can't defend it that well, let's be honest. It's more for looks. The fort, however, is definitely more of a practical base. It needs a little bit more defenses. And we should be good to go with that one. I'm okay, getting up top, I'm taking a look. Yeah, okay, they're definitely gone. Good. Go. Uh oh. Don't, don't waste the sticks. Don't waste the sticks. Don't despawn. Oh my god. I think I lost a few then. No. <gasps> He's coming this way. Close. Close. Yep. I figured they were coming back. Oh my god. Okay. You know. I don't feel like fighting them in the snow biome is the best idea because I've got the warm suit on, not proper armor. Yeah, I'm going to let them pass. One hit and I'm pretty sure I'm dead, so... This is not my fight. It's weird how they're alone. Sometimes they have cannibals with them. It's kind of peaceful watching them from back here. No way. No way. Well, alright then. You're mine now. And that's done. Just gonna get a few more sticks and stuff for here, but oh well, actually, never mind. So gradually I'm gonna be doing this. I'm not gonna get all these today, that's just way too much work. But overall, just take a look at this courtyard now. So if I go up to the top, now there's still one wall that hasn't been used, which is this one right here. Everything else has something against it, and it looks really nice. Uh, I'm gonna wait until night, I think it's a, a couple of minutes away, and I'm gonna light the fire and see how effective it is at just lighting up this courtyard. Got some effigies up here, pretty much like, you know, well, halfway around the fort. Mainly towards the front of it, where most of the cannibals are. So I can light these, and hopefully they work up here. Hopefully they don't have to be on the ground. That would be bad. Really, really happy with this house has turned out. If you've got any suggestions for things to go in here, let me know in the comments below. I think I'm going to be putting some drying racks against this, actually. I don't have anywhere for those to go. They have to go on the inside, because if I put them inside here, the cannibals can reach them through the walls, so they've got to be inside the courtyard. So before the sun's completely set, I'm going to actually light the fire now. Let's get that going. Oh, that's so good! I love how I can light it, like, through the fences if I build those. Yeah, that is perfect. 
absolutely amazing. I'm really happy with this build. This has been my favorite build, I think, so far in Season 3. This or the bunker? I can't decide which one. Look how well that lights up the whole courtyard. But there we go, everyone. Unfortunately, I have run out of time for today's video. I wanted to do sort of like start work on the interior decoration for the fort. I've got to do all inside the walls at some point, but that's going to be a job for the future. And Virginia's still here. Great. Well, on that note, I'm going to end today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to press the like button. And if you're not already, subscribe to catch future videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.